So you'd like to get a new shotgun, but you check your pockets, you check your wallet. You're just really short on cash. You need something cheap. Today we're gonna look at an option for you. It is the Maverick 88, one of the cheapest pump shotguns, or just shotguns in general, on the market. We're gonna be putting it to the test for a detailed and in-depth review. Let's go. We're gonna jump into the review in just a minute, but I wanted to give you a heads up of some of the things you're gonna find down in the description of this video. I have links to all the products that I use and trust, whether it be my eyes, my ears, choke tubes, and so much more. Check that out. And also, if you're watching this video, you might be interested in a cheap, cheap shotgun. What would be great if you don't have a lot of cash in the pocket? Maybe getting some free money. I'm giving away $100 every month to Reed's, my favorite sporting good retailer. You might wanna to enter to win that every single month. Plus, at the end of the year, we are giving away a brand new of your choice. No, not the Maverick 88. If you could choose any shotgun, you probably wouldn't choose this. I think we're giving away a brand new up to, what, $2,000 in value, I believe. So you got a lot of great options. Make sure you check that out. It's in the description. Let's roll right into the review. This is probably the cheapest shotgun that I've ever shot. It is the Maverick 88. Comes in at an MSRP of 253. That's $253. I took my family through the drive-through at McDonald's a week ago and it was nearly that much. So the fact that you can buy a shotgun, <laughs> that's not completely true. But anyways, I got this from Reed's, my favorite sporting good retailer for even less than that, yes. Now, the question is, what type of shotgun do you get for $253? We're about to find out. I'm gonna put it to the test, but before we do, let's take a look at some of the quick specs. I'm gonna go through a lot of different areas on this review. If you wanna jump to any specific area, there's chapter markers on this video. Just jump right to it. Looking at the specs, this is a 12-gauge shotgun, three-inch chamber, 28-inch barrel, Obviously, it is a pump-driven shotgun. Length of pull, that distance from the trigger to the butt end is 14 and a quarter inches. This gun comes in weighing seven pounds, and that might be because there's a lot of light, chintzier materials used on this shotgun. But hey, what does that really mean? You know, some people will be like, oh, that's plastic, that's a bad thing. We're gonna put some rounds through this bad boy today, see what it's made of. One other thing I like to look at when it comes to specs is the trigger. How does it feel? Not great. Ooh, that's well over seven pounds. That's tough. Okay, let's, let's put it on the scale. Doesn't feel awesome. Seven pounds. I bet it's into the eights. Eight pounds. Eight pounds, 10 ounces. Yeah, fairly heavy. We'll enter that one. Let's give it a, another pull. 715, interesting. That's a little lighter than I thought it would be. Let's enter that one, seven pounds. Oh, now we're into eight pounds. There we go, eight pounds, two ounces. So we enter that. We got an average of eight pounds, 0 0.9 ounces. So we're right around that eight pound mark on the trigger, which is not surprising. I could tell right from the get-go. It was a little tougher to pull, doesn't feel all that great. But hey, what do you expect? It's a $253 shotgun. Next, I'm quickly gonna take a look at the ergonomics. This is the look, the feel, the function of the shotgun right off the bat in the hands it feels a little awkward this grip feels pretty normal pretty decent actually the fore end is really far forward i feel like i really have to get my arm up there to grab it a lot of fore ends on pumps have material here and so you can get a little shorter grip if you like where it's just kind of where i like it instead i feel like you have to get your arm way out there like I go to mount this thing, my arm is really extended. I'd prefer it be a little bit shorter like that. And I mean, I'm not a small guy. I'm right under six foot. So anyone smaller than me with any shorter arms, that might be a bit of a reach. Now, there are other variations of this shotgun available. They do make a compact model. So that one's gonna be a little bit shorter for the youth and hopefully it's not as long of a stretch in the arms for them. Other things to look at with ergonomics, yeah, I don't love the feel, the balance. Front end heavy for sure. 
Yeah, very front end heavy. In the hands, I can tell my left arm is already fatiguing just from holding this. Looking at the controls, look at the safety. I don't think I've ever seen such a, it almost looks like a safety you would see on a toy gun. Honestly, kind of janky looking. The slide release is actually fairly conveniently located. It is on the other side of the trigger guard. So if you're right-handed, you kind of have to go on the back side of the trigger guard to push it, but really easy to push. I got no complaints there. Other things with ergonomics, recoil pad, just a kind of rubber pad. The stock, the forend, just kind of seemed like a cheap plastic polymer type material. Has a brass mid bead, an ivory front bead, so that's kind of cool that it has two beads on it. I did a little shooting before we started this video. These edges are sharp right there. Like that, you're slamming shells in, I would tear my hands up. So we'll see what effect that has when we get shooting here a little bit. Yeah, just not my favorite feeling shotgun, but you know what? When you buy a gun like this, you're not gonna get all the bells and whistles. It's not gonna be the best feeling, the best operating shotgun on the market, but the question that we're gonna try to answer today is this potentially a gun for you. If you got really limited resources but still wanna get into shotgun shooting, we'll answer that. Enough talking, let's do a little shooting. I'm gonna test out recoil and reliability. Not a lot I can say with reliability. I mean, does it eject the shells? But what I'd like to hear is from viewers that have this shotgun that maybe have put thousands of rounds through it, how does it hold up? That's something I'm not gonna do today. I'm not gonna put thousands of rounds for this shotgun. Let's just take a few test shots. Oh boy. Oh, I'm even flinching. You see that pull? I was like, ah! Yeah, a lot of recoil into my face. Did not love it. This gun has a 14 and a quarter inch length of pull, but still when I mount into it, I don't know if it's because of where my hand is on the grip. As you can see, my nose is pretty much touching my thumb right here. And that's not what you want. When, it, when you look at length of pull, you want a finger and a half to two and a half finger widths between your nose and your thumb, ideally. Otherwise you're gonna, the recoil is gonna come back and you're gonna bust your nose up. It doesn't feel good. I got a big sensitive nose, okay? I don't like to get hit. Oh. Huh. Having trouble running that fast. That slide, a little tough to operate. We'll look at that a little bit more later. As we get into speed shooting, we'll learn a lot more. When it comes to recoil, I don't love it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm taking quite a bit in my face. Um, seven pound gun, lighter gun, pump gun, yeah. I think it's expected. I think the amount of recoil is kind of expected between weight and pump gun. I mean, let's start looking at those factors. I wish I wasn't getting it in my face. There we go, that's a little faster cycle. I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm already starting to kind of get a headache. Uh, instead of breaking up quality of build and breaking this gun down, I'm gonna do kind of both at the same time. I don't got a lot to say as far as quality of build. I mean, this is a very basic gun that Obviously works, that's a plus. Barrel comes off. I have not taken this gun apart yet. That was really easy. Scary easy, uh oh. There's our trigger group. Now what are we dealing with? I hear pieces rattling around, that's not good. So this bar comes out. There's another bar on the other side that comes out and we can slide the action rearward. And there's a spot about three quarters of the way back that allows part of the bolt to come out. Then we should be able to slide forward. Look at that. Got our forend and our slides. The bolt comes out the front. Whew. I tell you what, that was a little bit extensive. There is a lot of kind of pieces. This is not simple. If you put a lot, a lot of rounds, like you're gonna wear this thing down. I just, there's no doubt about it. Just how this is put together. You're eventually gonna wear parts down, have malfunctions. I would love to hear from you though. If you own this gun, how many rounds do you have through it and have you had any issues yet? This part of the gun is so light, like between the receiver and the stock, uh, very light. I guess what's heavy is that's a pretty darn heavy barrel. Okay, um, bear with me. I'm gonna put it together. We won't show it all, don't worry, because it's gonna take me a little bit. <laughs> all right, well, 
out of good old curiosity, let's put some rounds down range. See if I got this back together right, because that was not simple at all, ladies and gentlemen. We did it! All right, just overall quality of build, ease of breakdown, not super easy to break down. Good thing it's a pump shotgun. You shouldn't have to clean it all that often, but if you were to get moisture in there and wanted to not wreck your gun, it's kind of a pain, um, a real pain to be honest with you. But hey, quality of build, it is on the lower side of quality. What do you expect? Um, question is how long is it going to hold up how long is it going to last but a lot of people buying guns like this what they do is it's their first shotgun they decide if they like shotgun shooting or not and if they really shoot a lot and get into it they usually upgrade eventually so not a big deal only downside of that is when this is your first shotgun because the recoil is a little bit more to the face because it's not as enjoyable to shoot it makes the whole experience not quite as fun so if you don't have the money to buy a little bit nicer gun no problem but if you are a parent and you're going cheap because you're getting a gun for your kid and it's his first gun and you just want to go cheap, let me ask you to reconsider. If you can afford it, if you can justify it, spend a little bit more money, get a gun that they're going to enjoy shooting because then more than likely they're going to want to do it. Nobody wants to do things that are unenjoyable and painful. But let's put this gun to the test. It is time for speed shooting. We've had enough talk. I know, you're like, Steve, you talk a lot. Let's do some shooting. On the clock, how fast can I shoot three clays with the Maverick 88? I feel like I need a code name for this. Maybe Maverick should be my code name. What are some of the other characters? Uh, Iceman? Yeah. He died in the first one, right? Nope. Who's uh, the one that the died? Goose died Goose. in the first one. Yeah, Goose died. And then his son Rooster is in the, the new one. Oh. And is then cool Maverick character? becomes Rooster is instructor. Becomes Rooster's instructor? Yeah. Is Rooster a cool guy? I like Rooster. Okay. Call me Rooster then. <laughs> Are you going to put that whole exchange in the video? Okay. <laughs> you should. Okay, guys. Here goes nothing. We've got the Maverick. I guess that makes me Rooster. Let's go. There we go. Three plays. We're having to work for it with this gun. A 171, 1 1.05 seconds to get on it. That's super slow. The way I'm having to mount this gun, because I can't grab it closer to the balance point, is way, I can't mount the same way. So I'm having to do things completely different. Anyways, 0.66 seconds to shoot three clays from when I pulled that first trigger. Let's see if we can pick up the pace a little bit. I'll give it another try. There we go, that was faster. Still, by the time I shot my third, I didn't even get it ejected because I slipped off. One, six, three. Took me 0.67 seconds to shoot three clays. Let me do one more, see if I can shoot faster. My fastest time so far has been 0.66. Oh, 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 oh. That wasn't fast, I don't know what it is, but if I had a fourth shot, I wouldn't have done it because I, again, slipped off. 161 was the total time. Took me 1.01 to get on it. Not super fast, but I shot it in 0.6 seconds. All three clays, 0.6 seconds. That was my fastest time. Boom, boom, boom. Final thoughts on the Maverick 88. You know, a movie just came out recently. What is the name of that one called? Maverick, right? Maverick. It's called Maverick. Top Gun, Maverick. Does Maverick and Top Gun belong in the same sentence? <laughs> Not so much. Not so much. This gun is bottom dollar cheap gun. If you want to get into shooting, understand that this gun is going to give you a little abuse. It's not going to be super easy to operate, but if you can power through, learn to shoot on this, it can only get better from there. You can always upgrade later. I'm not going to guilt or shame you if you want to buy this gun because budget is limited. Maybe you don't value guns all that well, but I'm just trying to lay it out as it is. This shotgun is not super enjoyable to shoot comfort wise. Operation is difficult, breakdown, a lot of moving pieces, but hey, I can hit targets, I could kill birds, I could hunt with it, I can do the things and it works. I don't know how long it's gonna last, that's one of the big questions. I think eventually this gun's gonna break down, but most people, if they've really gotten into shooting, they're gonna go, I need an upgrade, I'm gonna go get a new gun. So, it's the Maverick 88, 
Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you have this gun, would love to hear your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching. I couldn't do what I do without viewers like you. So I appreciate it. Remember, whether you're in the field or in life, you're only gonna hit those targets you're laser focused on. So live target focused. See ya.